Hey folks, unboxing video time. So this should be a motherboard and we bought a lot of motherboards this year. So let's go ahead and get it out of here. This came from Amazon. All right, what do we have folks? All right, a ITX size H610. So I have not, um, I haven't bought one of these in a long time. Not obviously not my favorite type motherboard. I thought this was a pretty good price. Some of the more popular motherboards have actually been the H610M. So, thought, ah, you know what? Let's get this one. So, ASUS Prime H610i Plus D4 CSM Windows 11 ready. You know LGA 1700. It will be 12th and with a BIOS update 13th gen compatible. See what's on the tag. Is there anything exciting there? Not really. Now the back, yeah, the print is really small. I think we're recording in 4K. So if you guys are watching this on massive 4K monitor, you'll be able to read all about this. USB, Ethernet graphics. Doesn't even tell you what the PCIe is on it. Pentium Gold Celeron. RAM speed, so it's DDR4. Storage M.2. Alright. No seal on the outside of the box. So I had a lot of difficulties with uh, the performance of the ASUS motherboards when I switched from 12 to 13 gen, um, even after doing all the proper updates. So I.O. shield here, we won't even open that. Um, what in the hell is this thing, folks? Some kind of cover. They give you a standoff and M.2, and there's a manual and a CD, all right, or driver, excuse me, might be a DVD, but that has uh, some drivers on there. Always best, in my opinion, to buy, or excuse me, download the drivers off of the internet so you get the, the newest stuff, right? Now, with this motherboard, besides this unboxing and overview of the features, we'll do uh, quite a few more videos with it to include a BIOS update, installation, BIOS overview, and I don't know if we'll compare it to anything, but I'll keep it on top of this so we hopefully don't damage it. All right, let's drop down. Maybe a little further down. So, uh, you can see that says Gen 4. So this is PCIe 4.0 by 16, folks. Now, header for USB 3.0 here, 3.2, 4 SATAs. Here's your uh, two DDR4 RAM slots. has support for one M.2, all right? And that's what that standoff was for. So this should be 2280 all the way back. Uh, let's see if we can see what's what. One of these is HD audio, probably this one, and this one's probably USB 2.0, all right? And if we come over here, might be wrong about that but sorry this is uh this guy's usb 2.0 right here now these should be your front panel connectors right here all right now if we could zoom in further yeah there you go you can see what the connectors are 24 pin power connector there um does not look like it has ARGB or RGB on this. Fan headers to include a CPU fan header. 
here is your LG A1700. Now I uh, most likely won't hold on to this motherboard very long. We'll uh, do all those videos and then we'll put it up for sale. Then it'll be somebody else's, but it will won't get a whole lot of use on the channel. So it almost be like they get a new CPU power connector, 1x8 CMOS battery. These are always not fun to deal with when they're in that situation. PS2 connector, USB 2.0, HDMI, DisplayPort, VGA. So you get a lot of older crap that, honestly, most people don't care for. USB 3.2, Ethernet, microphone, headphone, line out. Uh, this would appear to be for a Wi-Fi card, which is interesting that that would be on here. I think I have one sitting around somewhere, to be honest with you. All right, so I'm not really sure where that thing is. Um, that's about all the features on this thing, folks. If we look at the bottom, there's no extra spots for drives underneath it. So I'll eventually try and find my Wi-Fi card to see if that'll fit in there and work. Oh, there's it. Another... Here's a gigabyte A520, so this is for AMD. I possibly could pop this off here. Let me see if it'll work. All right, never mind that idea, folks. I was hoping to try something. I'll have to find the one card that I have because that might just work. But uh, yeah, nice little uh, motherboard here, you know, for a ITX size build. This uh, will probably install an i3-12100F in it. And then eventually, maybe uh, after we update the BIOS, I'll do another video with 13th Gen. Maybe another video showcasing some different CPU cores that work with it. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.